Look at all those ants. Look like black pepper, but they're ants. 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 All in the carpet. All in the corners. You know? This reminds me of a scripture. Look at that. These are the things that I used to get rid of the ant. I used this boric acid. I used the palm olive with water. And I also put these granulars here in the ground. Those ants, though, are so diligent, and they remind me of a scripture. Don't know if you ever read the book of Proverbs, but in the Proverbs, it's a scripture in chapter 6, and it goes like this. Go to the ant, you lazy one. Observe the ways and become wise. Although it has no command, commander, officer, or ruler, it prepares its foods in the summer. You remember that scripture there where it says the Lord takes the foolish things to conform the wise? The ant is so little but yet so small and they work so diligently. They work so diligently. It goes on to say, it prepares its foods in the summer and it gathers its food supply in the harvest. How long will you lazy one, will you lie there? When will you rise up from your sleep? A little sleep and a little slumbering, a little folding of the hands, no rest, and your poverty will come to you like a bandit and your want like an armed man. So this is for, that lesson is for the people that don't want to get up. Don't want to get up and go do nothing. They just had a hand out. Take your lesson from the ant and don't be a slugger. Get up and harvest. Get your stuff going and start working so that you can have your harvest when that time is, when that time comes. Get up. Take a lesson from the ants. They get on our nerves, but they got something to teach us. They have something to teach us. They work diligently. All right. So that's the lesson from today. That's the lesson from today. The ants get on our nerves. They're small and they're little, but we can learn from them. They work hard. They work hard. 